guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions for week 35 yes there's literally only about three weeks left of the Premier League 2019-2020 season I can't believe that we are still doing my predictions I'm so happy that the Premier League does it like it's going to cross the line in the next couple of weeks but anyway, still a lot of games to predict, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. And also give us a big front thumbs up if you enjoy it. My first game I'm going to try and predict is Norwich versus West Ham. Now, this is a must-win game for Norwich. They lose this, they're down mathematically. So, but West Ham are sort of within that boat as well because of the Bournemouth result yesterday. And the amount of points that West Ham got. I'm going to start probably look at a great escape for Norwich. I don't think they will do it. But I think Norwich might win this game just about. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Watford versus Newcastle. Watford, yet again, in that relegation zone. Not actually in it, but above it just about. Newcastle are one of them teams that really do look like, you know, could, if they started the season better, probably would finish a bit higher as well. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 2 0 Newcastle win. My next one is Liverpool versus Burnley. Now, Liverpool beating Brighton only by 3-1. I know it's Brighton to win that game, but, you know, Liverpool only winning by 3-1 and after going two goals up in the first five minutes. Slightly disappointed by Liverpool's expectations there, but they got the job done, which is the most important thing. Burnley are one of them teams that really... Could have probably done better if they have the better players. But as far as the game goes, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Chelsea. Sheffield United beaten Wolves. The previous fixture just gone by that late, late winner. Chelsea are, you know, looking for the top four and most look like they will do it. And obviously there's a transfer story about them. If you haven't seen it, the playlist will pop up at the end of this video. As far as the game goes, I'm going to go for my first draw for the week. And I'm going to go for a one all -on scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Manchester City. Now, Brighton are not yet mathematically safe. If Villa do lose this game, that I'm about to talk to you about in just a minute, they can't be caught by Villa. The only teams they can be caught by is by Bournemouth, West Ham, who are not in the relegation zone, and Watford. So the only relegation team they can be caught by is Bournemouth. Back to the game anyway. As I said, Brighton did lose against Liverpool. Man City do have that, you know, extra bit of comfort with nothing to play for really. I'm going to predict a bit of a shock for this one and I'm going to go for another one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Wolves versus Everton. Both teams looking for Europe football next season. With the likes of Wolves doing that, you know, with the likes of, you know, looking to play European football two years in a row. Over time, we all remember the start struggle they had at the start of the season. Seems a long time ago now, though. But as far as the game goes, another draw, another close game, another one off scoreline for that one. My next one is Aston Villa versus Crystal Palace. Aston Villa, as I said, must win game. 
I know Villa and Palace go and play each other on the final day of the season. That would be in my final prediction video of this season as well. But, you know, the likes of Palace doing that and, you know, really having to go to Villa, I reckon Palace would do it and I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is the North London Derby. It's Spurs versus Arsenal. Spurs joined Bournemouth after Bournemouth had two goals disallowed. Arsenal seems to be a bit more up and beat. Now I know whatever I'm going to call this, I'm going to have the opposition fans on my back. But what I saw with that Bournemouth Tottenham game, I'm going to go for an Arsenal win. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Arsenal win. Sorry, Tottenham fans. My, ne my next one is Bournemouth versus Leicester. Bournemouth, as I said, they want to catch Brighton. They've got to win this game. They did get a vital point against Tottenham. Leicester also looking for that top four. Top five might be enough as well. Obviously, I'll go to, on Leicester's band. Uh, not Leicester's, Man City's band, sorry. But. Oh, I reckon Leicester will do this one. I know no, no push around. Vardy's back in goal scoring form. A 3-0 scoreline for that one. My last one for this week weekend is Man United versus Southampton. Man United are a team that's won four games in a row. I think they're by three goals to nil. Southampton beating Man City. How do I call this one? I've got a funny feeling that Man United might just do this by another three hours to now. And that's what I'm going to go for. But um, anyway, guys, my midweek predictions will be up ahead of that Man United Southampton game. Best way you can keep up to date with my channel is by hitting that subscribe button, hitting the notification bell. But guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Ciao for now.